Hello. Do you rush everywhere? Are you always on to the next thing before you finish the thing you're doing? Are you always thinking of the next stuff that you've got to do or the next place that you've got to be? Rushing and rushing. Are you also impatient when other people are talking to you? Doing this and yes, yes, what's your point? What are you going to say next? If any of this is true for you, you might have a hurry up driver. And this is part of transactional analysis theory. And this is a way that we learned when we were really young to keep ourselves safe, to belong, to survive, really fundamental things about existence. And it's when, when we're little and we face difficult stuff or frustrations, disappointments, confusion, and we may think to ourselves, I'm only okay if I hurry up, if I'm really fast. It may be because of expectations of the big people around us or expectations that we set up inside ourselves. So if you feel that any of this resonates, I want to give you a permission or a way out of living this way. I want to tell you this. It's okay for you to slow down, smell the roses, focus in on here and now. And if you have trouble doing that, here's a quick exercise. It's called the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 exercise. I want you to look around you and see five things. Name them in your head or out loud. Five things that you can see. And then notice four things that you can touch, like my bum's touching the seat, my arms are touching the arms of the seat. Think about four things you can touch, three things you can hear. It's always at least three things that I can hear. Two things that you can smell and one thing you can taste. And by the time you've done that, your senses are here and now. And when you're here and now, you're not over there, you're not onto the next thing, you're not rushing. Okay, I hope that helped. I'm gonna be teaching more of this over the next three months, few months. Um, there's me, hurry up driver, onto the next thing. But um, slow down and smell the roses.